hey youtube family welcome back to my channel um before we get into this video y'all i just want to say that i am very nervous right now to talk about this i feel like i feel like the enemy does not want me to talk about this like just right now in this moment i feel so like like oh my god i'm about to talk about my testimony i'm about to talk about what happened to me so please y'all please 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 just bear with me in this video i have never gotten in front of a camera talk talking about my experience what happened to me um only a couple people in my life kind of know about it but y'all i have to talk about this I have to talk about this because one thing I learned is when things happen to you and you hold it in, it's like now the enemy has something against you. The enemy is holding things against you. And when you let it out, you're free. And I want to be free. And I want to tell my testimony and I want to tell my story because I know that this is going to help somebody. Not just only, it's not going to only help me, but it's going to um, help somebody else. So, y'all, I'm just. I contemplated, like, before I got on this camera, y'all, I was just like, do I do I really want to do this? And I know it's not me. It's the enemy, like, trying to get in my head, like, trying to tell me, like, don't do it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. And I have to talk about this because this has really opened my eyes up about the world, about people. Um, and I know y'all see the title. Y'all probably like, what happened? Like, what? <laughs> y'all. So before we get into this video, y'all, I just want to say hi. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Kwa. I am a baby Christian. I am on my journey with following Christ. And I'm just on here letting the, I'm just on YouTube letting the Lord, you know, use me to help other people with um with life and just trying to be a light to other people. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoy it here. I really hope that you learn something new. Um yeah so oof y'all like i said you gotta bear with me because this is a very 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 this is very triggering for me very triggering for me so right now i'm 26 years old i'm 26 and when this stuff was happening to me i had to be between 17 between 16 and 18 i think i was 17 going on 18 and i was in high school at the time and um i was living with my mom so it was me my mom my sister my brother and it was my stepdad and you know i'm just a regular girl you know a regular teenager trying to live a normal life you know i respect my mom i respect my family you know i'm doing what i'm supposed to do you know as a young lady and during that time of my life, I was I was searching for God. Like, I was searching for God. Like, I had this girl at my school. We would go to school. We would, After school, we would go to church, like, every day, every day. Because I'm like, who is this God? Like, who is this God that everybody's talking about? So, I'm going to church with her because I want to find God, too. Like, she was like, for us to be young like that, and we was like, she was trying to put me on to God, and she started taking me to church, you know, I'm like, okay, I want to see what this God is about. Who is this Jesus? Like, I heard of Jesus. I knew Jesus was real. But at that time, I didn't really have a close relationship with God. I'm just being honest. I didn't. So, during that time, and mind you, y'all, I'm living in Orlando, Florida. I'm not in Miami. I'm in Orlando, Florida. So, during this time, you know, like I said, I was staying with my mom, my, two, my sister and my brother, and my stepdad. And... It was just a lot of demonic things in our household going on that at the time I couldn't understand because, you know, I'm young. I don't really know much about witchcraft. Like, I heard of witchcraft, but I don't know nothing about it. Like, I don't know how it works. I don't I don't know what you do. And I still don't I still don't know what you do. I, and I don't care to know how to do witchcraft. Like, so, y'all, during that time, like I said, I was going to church. I was going to church faithfully after school you know listening to the preacher preach about who who god is and you know meeting other kids in the same age as me like it was just like 
such a glorious moment for me to be there to to uh, have a church family take me in at you know at you know such a oh yeah i'm sorry because this is this is why i did not want to talk about this <sighs> y'all gotta bear with me you know being a young girl looking for christ looking for god and i'm struggling like i'm living in poverty and all I could do is see who this guy is for myself, right? So, during the time that I'm going to church, I'm going to church after school, and I'm going to church even on Sundays. So, it's like, I was going to church, I was going to church, I was going to church with my friend. And during that time, y'all, at the time, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know, because, you know, I'm young, you know. But my mom was on witchcraft. My mom was doing witchcraft. And at the time, I didn't know. Like, I didn't really know what it was called. I didn't know what she was doing. You know, I would just always walk in her room. And I would see, like, an altar of the thing that, you know, the thing that she was worshiping. Like, this is her God. Like, that was her God. And I remember I used to ask her, like, like what? Like, because my mom at the time you know, in her early 20s, she believed in Jesus. And I kind of didn't know what happened, like why she stopped, like what happened. So now that I'm a teenager and she's like in her 30s, she's worshiping this thing. That's not even Jesus. Like she's worshiping this demonic thing. So y'all, she's worshiping this thing. I'm in a room listening to my gospel music and she's in the other room lighting candles and incense and giving offerings to this offer to this deity to this god that she calls her god and in the midst of that so imagine you're you're looking for god you're searching for god you're living in a house of you're living in a household that has witchcraft like full on full on full on full on like it's heavy y'all it's bad like the stuff that my mom was doing it was becoming toxic so imagine you're worshiping you're you're following jesus you're looking for god and then you got this demonic thing so it's clashing it's clashing it's clashing i was looking for god i was searching for god with a pure heart a pure mind me being 17 18 you know that's what i wanted to do i did not know what that came with at the time i did not know um so I remember like every time I used to go to church, y'all, I used to get attacked. I used to get attacked in my sleep, y'all. Like whatever my mom was doing, it was strong, y'all. It was demonic. Whatever that demonic stuff was, it did not want me to go to church. It did not want me to seek God, it did not want me to follow God. Like it did not want me to have nothing to do with Jesus at all. Like this thing was angry. And I remember I used to tell my mom, like, you know, every time I go to bed at night, something is attacking me in my sleep. Like something will be holding me down in the bed. And this is spiritually, not like a physical thing, but it's like in the spirit room, it's like I can feel something is holding me down and I can't move. And I'm looking around and I'm calling out to Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I noticed like every time I would say Jesus, it would go, it would stop. So I'm thinking like, okay, this is it. It's not coming back, right? Like I said, whatever my mom was worshiping, this thing was demonic y'all and it's sad to say that it be your sometimes it be your own parents like it's embarrassing right now for me to sit here and say that my mom was doing witchcraft this is really embarrassing and i think that's a part of why i didn't want to talk about this because you know why would your parents be doing witchcraft so after that night y'all it just kept happening kept happening um, it would be times where I would be in my bed, laying, like in my bed sleep and I can't move. I can't move. All I could do was like look around the room with my eyes and I would see like this black tall thing standing in the corner. Like it's, 
Y'all ever seen like in a scary movie where it's like people wearing the, like the cloak, the black cloak? It was one of those in my room. It was another time where, once again, I can't move. I'm stuck. I'm screaming Jesus. And I see this witch, y'all. Oh, my God. I see this witch coming through the wall. Like, she's coming through the wall, y'all. And I remember she was screaming in my ear. Like, just, it was this evil scream. Like, it was a scream, like, I hate you. Like, I want to take you out. I want to kill you type of scream. And it scared me so bad. And because, y'all, I was just walking into my faith. I'm young. Remember, y'all, I'm young. I'm like 17. I'm 18. I didn't know how to fight, y'all. <laughs> I'm just being real. I did not know how to fight. I was just kind of learning how to pray. My faith was weak. Um, I was depressed during that time because I couldn't understand, like, why was these things happening to me? Um, so every time these things would happen to me, I just, all I could say is Jesus. Like, I, could, I didn't even know how to pray. I didn't even know who I could talk to about what was going on because I felt, I felt embarrassed. I felt ashamed about what was happening to me. And I felt like nobody would really believe me. So, y'all, the attacks kept happening. It would be times where I would be sleeping, y'all, and I would feel something trying to have sex with me, like, in the spiritual, in the spiritual room. I would feel this. Like, I would feel something touching me. I would feel something trying to pull my panties down. And I didn't know what to make of this. I didn't know. And y'all, mind you, I'm still going to church. No matter what's happening to me, because at the time, I wasn't connecting what was happening to me with what my mom was doing. I'm just thinking, like, maybe it's the house or something. It's something in the house. So, I'm still going to church. The more I go to church, y'all, it's getting strong. It's getting strong. Whatever my mom is doing in that room at nighttime, it is getting strong. And it would just only... And I had, I had to ask myself, like, why is this only happening to me? Because I had asked my sister and brother. I was like, you know... Is something happened to y'all at nighttime? And mind you, they they young, they're elementary, so they don't know what's going on. They don't know what I'm experiencing because I don't want to scare them. And they was like, no, no, you know, they don't know. So I went to my mom again after that first time. That second time, I was, you know, asking her, like, why is these things happening to me? Like, why isn't it not happening to you? Or why is it not happening to, you know, my stepdad? And... Y'all know what my mom told me? <laughs> she said, whatever you got going on, it's because of you. And I looked at my mom, and I didn't even know what to say, because I'm like, you know, what do I have going on besides going to church? Like, I'm, I'm going to church. I'm looking for God. And she knew that. She knew. My mom knew I was going to church. She knew I was going to church every day after school. She knew I was going to church on Sundays. It was times where I used to invite my mom to come to church with me, and she would never want to go. And I couldn't understand because I'm like, who don't want to look for God? Who don't want, you know, God to be in their life? So um, so I let that slide. I didn't say nothing. So mind you, y'all, the attack's still going on. I still don't really know how to really pray because... I, I'm I'm terrified at this point. It was times where I didn't even want to go to bed, y'all. I did not want to go to bed because I knew whatever this thing was, it was waiting for me. It was waiting for me to go to sleep so it could get me in my sleep and violate me in my sleep and just do whatever it wanted to do with me, to me in my sleep. And um, my mom still doing this witchcraft. It's like, it's just... It got to the point where the energy in the and because at this time we were staying in a three bedroom apartment, and it got to a point where the energy in the house was just, it was bad, y'all. It was bad, and I will never forget one night I was sleeping with my room door open because it got to a point where I did not want to go to sleep with my door closed because I knew once I go to sleep with my door closed, it was coming. In, whatever it was, it was coming for me. Um, so this night I went to sleep with my door open and my room was across from my mom's room. So she could just see, you know, who walking past, you know? So I remember I was sleeping and out of nowhere, y'all, my mom was yelling, screaming. Like she was like cussing somebody out. So I woke up, jump up out my seat. I'm scared because I don't know what's going on. And I ran in her room. No, 
she ran in my room and she got me out of the room, out of my room, out of the bed. She said, Qua, get up now. So I'm scared because I'm like, what's happening? She told, we went back in her room and we sat down. I was like, mommy, you know, because I call my mom, mommy. She, you know, she wants to call her mommy. So I was like, mommy, like, what's going on? What happened? Y'all, what she said to me shook me to the core. This is how I knew whatever my mom was doing, it was like full blown. Like this thing was manifesting like I don't. Like, it was nobody's business. My mom told me that she was sitting on her bed and she seen this dude walk past. Oh, my God. Just talking about this giving me chills. She seen this African-American dude walk past. He had on a red shirt with some blue jeans. He walked past her room door and went in my room. And in that moment, y'all, it was like, I was asking, like, what is going on in this apartment? Why is these things, why is it coming for me? Why is this happening to me? I'm not asking my mom this, but I'm thinking this to myself. Like, what, what is it that want me so bad? Like, what is it? So, my mom had told me, like, we're not supposed to see spirits. Like, spirits, demons, whatever, they're not supposed to show their self to us like we're not supposed to see them so when my mom when my mom saw this this i don't know she said it was a man a young dude it, it could have been a demon you know pretending to be a guy but she said that she felt very offended because we're not supposed to see them and the fact that it went in my room it was almost like it wanted me you know um oh lord so after that day, y'all, <laughs> you would think that it would stop. Y'all, the attacks still kept going. I'm still going to church. And then it got to a point where this thing was, like, violating me. Oh, let me post the camera, y'all. It was violating me in my sleep. It was violating me in my sleep. Trying to, you know, have S-E-X -S with me in my sleep. Um, and I'm getting weak. It was like my spirit was getting weak because I couldn't understand why it, why it was happening. So, <sighs> y'all just bear with me. So, it got to a point, y'all, where I got really scared for my life. And whatever this thing was trying to do, it... It, it 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 achieved the goal that it was trying to do. I stopped going to the church. I had told myself, if I just stop going to church, maybe the attacks will stop, right? So I stopped going to church. I stopped going to church because I was afraid. Nobody was praying for me, y'all. I could I didn't even really know how to pray. I was confused. I'm just a young girl going to school, living a normal teenage life. And I'm looking, I'm seeking for God. I'm searching for God with my whole heart. And for this stuff, for my mom to be over here dibbling and dabbling with witchcraft, and she don't even see, she see it, but she don't even want to stop to save her daughter. I gave up. I stopped going to church. I stopped going to church. I couldn't take it no more. And the moment I stopped going to church, it's like it won. It won. And the moment I stopped going to church, the attack stopped. Isn't that funny? The attacks stopped. So one day, me and my mom, um, we were sitting on the couch. And I, we was having a conversation about what I was telling her, the things that was happening to me. And... um. Once again, my mom, I'm so sorry to say this. I know the Lord says that we must honor our parents. And I do honor my parents. I love my parents. But I just don't agree with the things that they do, especially my mom. Um, my mom had the audacity, y'all. Because she didn't even want to, just because she didn't want to go to the Lord. And she didn't want to seek the Lord or go to a church, take me to a church to see what was happening. So she turned around and called a psychic. She told me that she called a psychic to see what was happening to me, what was going on. 
So the psychic had told her, like, you know, from what it sounded like, it sounded like somebody put something on her. <sighs> yeah. So my mom told me that the psychic said that somebody put something on me out of jealousy. And she said, and my mom told me that it was somebody on my dad's side of the family. But during this time, I'm like, I'm all the way in Orlando, Florida. My family, my dad's side of the family is in Miami. I don't have like close connection with them like that. Like, you know, when you move away, you know, you move on with your life. So I'm trying to figure out like, how is that even true? And a man was like, oh, um, you know, if you give me $800, you know, I can do a, a bath for her to cleanse. And I'm just like, this, I'm just like, for me to be so young, I knew that didn't even sound right because I'm not about to do no no cleansing bath. Like that sound like witchcraft. <laughs> like, <laughs> that sound like witchcraft. Like it just didn't sound right. Cause I, it's like my heart, my soul, my body knew that Jesus was the only one who could help me. Like I felt like whatever they that that psychic, whatever my mom thought that you know was gonna help, that stuff would have probably just even backfired even more. So my mom was like, you know, I, I can't afford, I can't afford $800. So I'm in my heart, I'm like, okay, that wasn't even meant for me. Cause I ain't for the sit, you know, cleansing bath. Like that's just, that stuff is demonic y'all. Like I got my Bible right here. It says Deuteronomy 18, 10. It says, and do, it says, for example, never sacrifice your son or daughters as a burnt offering. Okay? Uh, and do not let your people practice fortune telling or use sorcery or interpret interpret um ornaments or engage in witchcraft or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics or call forth the spirit of the dead anyone who does these things is this detestable to the lord so y'all we are not supposed to we are not supposed to play up these things and i feel like whoever come across this video and you a psychic and, or whatever you call yourself i'm sorry but this is the God and the truth. It's, it, it's, it says it in the Bible. Like, I'm not going to lie to nobody on here. Like, I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing for nobody. Like, we're not supposed to, to do those things because those things open up doors. And then you wonder why your life is the way that it's going, you know? Or somebody could put something, up, put something on you. And God is going to judge every single person that's doing witchcraft every single person it's like the enemy wants you to believe that witchcraft is okay witchcraft is you because you have to really think about it do you think people in heaven doing witchcraft <laughs> no nobody's in heaven doing witchcraft so the bible ain't gonna lie the bible is not gonna lie at all at all so the Lord doesn't want us to judge nobody, but he do want us to judge righteously. And that Bible ain't going to lie. We are not supposed to be playing with witchcraft because that stuff would backfire 10 times, not even probably 100 times harder than what you thought. Um. So, yeah. So, um. So the guy said somebody put something on me. I don't. I, to this day, I still don't believe that. I feel like whatever my mom was doing, it it that opened up a door for a whole lot of unnecessary demonic stuff that happened to me. And I feel like it was worse because the demons, um, they saw me really searching for God. They saw that, like, and that triggered what my mom was doing. So. It's like my mom trying to, she trying to worship this thing and I'm trying to worship God. 
So just imagine those two things are like bumping heads. And um, somebody had told me one time, I think it was my godmom. She told me like, you know, when you, when you, when you play with, with witchcraft, you think it's working for you in the moment, but down the line, it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. And I remember me and my brother and sister, we used to always ask my mom, like, okay, you over here playing with this witchcraft stuff and you thinking that it's doing something. Because I'm not going to lie, y'all, like, my mom used to be putting love spells on people. Oh, my God. Y'all, the truth have to come out. The truth have to come out. The truth have to set me free. My mom, this is not to bash my mom. Please, y'all, don't. If y'all see this comment, if I mean, if y'all see this video, please don't comment nasty, negative things about my mom. We have to understand that my mom is human. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But at the same time, it's not right. My mom used to put love spells on people to get guys and... And it will always backfire. Like, she'll have them. Like, she'll have a guy. And then it won't even last. Or, you know, they will fuss at each other. Curse each other out. And at that point, that's when I knew, like, whatever my mom was dibbling in, it was... Ooh, y'all, this camera. It was bad. Like, it was just... It was... It was demonic. Like... Um, what's wrong with my camera, y'all? It was demonic, like, and I had told myself, like, I don't think I could ever really get on this camera and talk about this, but I know I have to, because the Lord, like, wants us to use our life experience to help other people, you know, and um, I just pray, like, if somebody's going through this, <sighs> keep praying, keep praying, stay in the church, stay in the church, don't be like me. Because I was afraid. I didn't really have guidance back then. You know, to have somebody, you know, pray for me, pray over me. Yes, the Lord was there. The Lord was, he was holding me. He was shooting me. But it's like, I felt like I didn't have enough of strength on my own to fight this. I feel like if I would have more people backing me, I feel like that stuff could have stopped. But because I was weak in my faith, I just got scared and I stopped going to church. So please, if you're going through this, if you feel like you're going through witchcraft, somebody put something on you, or you feel like something in your house ain't right, keep praying, pray over your house. That's what I did. I pray over my apartment. I pray over my life. I still pray. I still pray for my mom. Um, even though the things that she did really hurt me, I still pray for her. I love my mom. I still honor my mom, and that's what we're supposed to do. Y'all, my camera. I don't know if it's okay so yeah i'm sorry y'all i'm just so yeah like keep praying witchcraft ain't nothing to play with that stuff is real that stuff is serious like it's demonic like i'm sitting here telling y'all my testimony my story like this stuff really happened to me and um i will never forget i have met this guy at my job um and I had kind of opened up to him and told him, you know, the stuff that had happened to me um, with the witchcraft, my mom knowing the witchcraft. And he had told me, he was like, it sounded like you were, you were supposed to be a sacrifice. Um, not like a sacrifice as like me, you know, being killed or something, but a sacrifice like uh, my destiny was supposed to be taken away from me or like. I'm I was supposed to be delayed. But I want to say y'all, delayed is never denied. Delayed is never denied. Delayed is never denied. Um because God will take you where you're supposed to be when it's the right time. I feel like yes, I might not be where I want to be, but I'm going to get there cuz God is going to make sure I get there. And when I get there, I'm not going to be denied. Yeah, I might have been delayed because my mom was doing all of this stuff that that hindered my my process of, you know, really, truly knowing who the Lord is and, let, you know, letting him work in my life. Um, that delayed it. 
Like, I could really see him in this camera say that really delayed it. And I want to also say, people see the light. When you have a strong light in you, people see that and people are very intimidated by that. People don't like that, especially um, when they know that they're doing wrong in life and they're not, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. People could really put witchcraft on you because of that. I had learned that too a couple of years ago. Um, and that's why we must, us as Christians, that's why we must be prayed up. We must have our garment on for protection because we live in a, we living in a time where you got the witchcraft you got the witches and you got christians and it's like it's a battle like between evil between evil and good so it's like we must y'all we must be like prayed up that's why i always pray 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 i even pray for my mom and you know, some people would be like, "Well, why you don't, why you don't hate her? Why you don't mad? Because that's not in me. God don't want me to hate nobody. God don't want, God don't want me to be mad at nobody. Because what am I doing? How is that benefit of me walking around with unforgiveness? All I'm doing is holding grudges, and um, the enemy wants you to hold grudges. He wants you to be un unforgiving. He wants you to have bitterness. But I don't. That's no. Yes, what she did, it harmed me. It hurt me. Um, but. You know, I moved on with my life and I have God. Like, I, as long as you have God, like, you're going to be okay. Like, I feel like if somebody try to put something on, on me, it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. Because when you're protected, when you're anointed by the Lord, oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. Like, whatever they try to put on you, it's going to go back on them 10 times harder than what they try to put on you. So, yeah. I just want to just get on here and tell my testimony of what happened to me. Y'all, this is not fake. This is all real. Let me tell y'all when it happened. It happened between 2016, 15-ish. I was in high school. No, maybe probably between 2000. Yeah, because I was going to say 2014. Uh -uh, I was probably... 16 at that time so it happened between y'all 16 17 2016 and 17 it was just so much was going on in my life and i had learned a lot during that time with my walk with the christ i learned a lot about the witchcraft like the stuff my mom was doing like i knew like my spirit knew that it wasn't right it wasn't right but yeah we must forgive people and just love them from a distance just love them from a distance. If they hurt you, just forgive them. I know it's not easy, but God wants to God wants us to forgive people because if we don't forgive us, how God is gonna forgive us? If God if we don't forgive them, how God is gonna forgive us? So yeah, I just wanna say that um stay prayed up. Never never stop praying. Keep praying because People out here putting in, in, incantations, spells on people just just to be nasty. Like this stuff is real. Imagine like in the spirit realm how it look. Just imagine. So yeah, I just want to just say thank you y'all for just watching my video. I know I talk a lot. Um, please y'all make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow y'all. Cause I cannot do this without y'all. Y'all are my family. And I also want to just say thank you, y'all, for the last video. Um, y'all really showed out on that video. Like, really, really showed out. I just want to say thank you for just allowing me to be vulnerable and to tell my story, my testimony. And, um, yeah, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video.